Got the basics of the figures done. Okay. They're mostly black, a little white for some shirts, some cuffs, a uh, little brown on the handle of the gun. Get some of their hair brown. Okay. And I let them set overnight. So now I'm just going to show you how I do a basic wash. And it's not great, it's not perfect. But these molds aren't perfect. They're even shaped different. My paint job's not perfect. I am not perfect. So it doesn't matter. It is still pretty good. Much much improved. This is uh, purified drinking water. So I'm just going to put, let's just start with like three drops down in there. Now let's do four. I already have one coming off. There we go. And I wish I had a smaller cup to show you, but this one's clear, so you can kind of you'll be able to see what's going on. Okay. Now you can buy pre-made washes, and they do work much better. Uh, we just had to research them, and you can even get them in different colors. You can get flesh tone washes, green washes, blue washes, whatever. But if you want to make your own, this is how I do it. So this is what it looks like for right now. Okay. Leave that there. Got to grab my soap while I was over there. Tiniest drop of detergent soap. Liquid soap. Come on. There we go. And now I'm going to take one of the bigger brushes so I can mix this up really well. And you can see it's really just runny. Okay. Doesn't really look like paint anymore. It just... There we go. And it's nice and dark. Now, if you're going to do, uh, say, a blue wash or a black wash, I'd add... I would... What I'd do... What I did, like, uh, with my blue, I dipped the end of this in black paint and mixed it in with just to make it a little bit darker so you get a little bit of a shade and a shadow and this is not like I said it's not perfect but this is easy enough so what I'm gonna do is add just a little more so that I have enough for all the figures there we go and let's see if I can get like one more little drop in there Okay, mix it up really well. Okay, you can kind of see it's just a mess, and that's what you want. So you're gonna get the brush really wet. I'm not going to go over everything. I'm gonna go over his suit and his shoes. And you just smear it on. Keep your brush wet. Go down his back, his shoulders. I'm not going to hit any of the whites or anything like that if I can help it. This will just give a little definition to the suit. Since he is small and mostly all black with his suit, this will just give a few highlights and details, especially right there in the bends and crooks. Okay. And then just rub the top of his hat. So I'm going to do that with all of the figures. Then let them dry. And we're pretty much ready to, well, if it will focus, pretty much ready to spray them. It's not wanting to focus for me. I'm sorry, folks. But you can see the difference already between the two figures. Okay, the one on the bottom has been rubbed the one on top is not it's not got that shiny glossy look to it and it will dry and not be as shiny but be back in a moment hopefully i can get stuff to focus better all right this is all i use just rust-oleum matte clear okay these are set for 30 minutes or so to finish drying and there are a few spots the camera probably will not pick it up, but 
just a few of the wrinkles have a little darker tint to them and just shine a little bit especially right there on the cuffs of his pants it's not going to work great it's not a great uh, way to use a wash like that and these models are small they don't have a lot of great detail so there's not a lot of little nooks and crannies for it to sit in there but it's real simple easy and uh, does give it just a little bit of different texture here and there so I'm going to uh, I got a cardboard box sitting out I'm gonna do one real quick bring it in just to show you leave the camera running so you can kind of see in here how quick and easy go now try to hold it as far away as I can and get just the edges and with the bottle I'm able to just twist it and roll it and then do it this direction to get the base as well and you can see it's got a nice it's got a nice little shine to it right now as that dries it will it will disappear a lot it's just not wanting to come in well so I'll do that with the rest of them and then I'm gonna let them set for 10 15 minutes come back and put a second coat on it you probably don't have to wait 15 20 minutes like I did <clears throat> for the second coat but I did and then I did a second coat let's see if I can get it to they do look a little shiny on camera, but they're not really shiny at all in person. There you go. The light does catch them a little bit, but they almost look wet on camera, and they do not in person. And as I said before, they are not perfect, but I'm very pleased. That's why I want to do this video. I've been very reluctant. And I'm sure other people have. The hardest part was getting my stuff out, trying to get it organized, figure out a good way to do it. And part of that is just trying. And so is the painting. That was the hardest part, was just making myself sit down and try. And I knocked all the uh, mobsters out in about a day and a half, not really knowing what I was doing. And I'm pleased with it. And with the two coats, these are safe to handle uh they've been sitting for a couple hours did some chores and picked up the kids stuff like that you know you pick go pick up your kids from school or whatever and just leave or leave them sitting overnight as long as you don't have friends scratching them with their nails or something sharp and if you had friends like that playing they you sh they shouldn't be playing games with you anyway but otherwise just handling them they're now safe to handle i've got two nice uh coats of that uh, lacquer that matte finish so it'll help just keep from basic handling from uh, picking them up and moving them around shouldn't mess up the paint so anyway I just want to do the video uh, it ended up being longer than I want it but I kind of wanted to show you what I was doing the very minimal cost low end quality paints and brushes and such I was using and it still got pretty cool results so I'll probably do some other videos just showing you uh, what I'm doing I don't have twitch and I don't do a twitch channel so I can just sit there and let people watch me paint but uh, anyway uh, I was hoping somebody might find this useful and maybe get the urge to do like I did and give it a try and won't be long hopefully I'll have these ready to do a playthrough of Fortune and Glory. So, all right, thanks for watching, and uh, come back and see some more stuff.